Let's take you to the northern region now, where residents, commuters and road users of the Bandiri Chichaki Road are urging the government to resume construction up to the riverside to address their transportation challenges. The construction was halted midway, leaving the road incomplete and not reaching any community. Residents and commuters are perplexed by this abandonment and appeal to the government to extend the road to the riverside. Channel One News' Northern Regional Correspondent Mohamed Aminu M. Alabira has more in this report. Residents and road users along the Bangdeyili Chichayo Road are calling on the government to extend the road to the riverside for improved transportation. The current road condition from the riverside through the communities are deplorable with numerous potholes, rocky terrain and flooding during the rainy season. Residents told China One News that they struggle to reach health centers, especially with women in labor and sick individuals. They urge the government to continue the road construction to the riverside to elevate these challenges. Here are some residents speaking to Channel One News. So they were doing the road up to uh, some community and uh, they refused to bring it to our community. Like we don't know what is going on. So Pete, we are prayed for them to do something to us to bring the road light. So when our women have a pregnancy, we can also get fast and then move to hospital and do something about it. We have challenges. Uh, and then our women and then the road problem, we don't have light here. And then the big men are coming here for voting. So after voting to them, we don't have anything here. So please, we are praying them to give us light and then the road. So please, we have a problem with our road. Mm -hmm. When uh, our, uh, the women are in labor, we find it difficult to take them to the hospital. Some people find it difficult because when they are in labor, because the road is not good, some people, uh, they, uh, they get sick and some of the, uh, the women to their children die because the road is not good. So we beg the government. Passengers who cross the river and continue their journey with tricycles shared their road challenges with Channel One and joined the call for the government to extend the route to the riverside. Yes, right, ma'am, for the Pacrona road name so with my boy, Bia. Yet the Empire boy, Buana, see, or Munyakoni, and men, yes, and Sutor Breton, I ain't mean true. Oba, 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 how their machines frequently break down on the road. Our road is not good, more good. And if we are going to inside Bimbala here, we are trouble like that. We are not want to take any passenger going there. If more motor bikes and then cars are falling down in the road, it, it, it have disturbance. More, more, more. If they have, they will help us to take the road into our riverside, it will help, help us more, more than the way they make it short like this. We beg, we beg, we beg. Last year, Channel One News reported on how flood overtook the road, forcing passengers to be ferried across sessions before reaching the main river. This issue was also highlighted by the regent of Bimbila, Yolem Bolgna Dasana and Dani Yakubu who, during the visit of the vice president and flag bearer, appealed for the road extension to the riverside. Uh, we've worked on roads. There's a road network to around Chichage area. Uh, you have worked hardly on that road, and um, it's going on smoothly. But looks like where you are stopping, we, would, we wouldn't want you to stop there. At least we would like the road to reach um, the riverside. The Honorable Minister has promised me that it will be done. But we want you to factor it among your, 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 um, among your, your works and what you'll be doing so that when you are giving the nod, you would help us work on that road to Chichai. The road is an international route, the shortest path to Togo through Zabzugu, Taltale, and into Togo. Completing it will boost economic activities along the corridor. Where I am currently, in a few weeks, the whole of this place will be flooded. Because last year, canoes were here transporting people across, and commuters on the road are calling for the road to be fixed from Bimbila 
to the riverside here. Um, the interesting thing is that contractors from Bimbila, they, they were working on the road and they just left it in the middle of the bush. Where it is left, there is no community there. It hasn't reached the communities. And commuters and road users here are appealing to government to just extend it to the riverside here for the betterment of the people. From the Bimbila Chichaga Road, Mohammed Aminu M. Alabira reporting for Channel One News.